This comes out of section 5.6, land asymptote. So I've written three different rational functions here, and uh, I just want to talk about the difference between them. They have many differences, but the, the biggest thing that I want to look at is talking about asymptotes. If I look at the end behavior as x approaches infinity of this first function, we've done some of these earlier in the course, and what you'd find is that you'd actually have a horizontal asymptote, and, and it's more specifically at y equals two-thirds, you'd have a horizontal asymptote as x got really, really large, um, these leading coefficients of 2 over 3 on the highest degree terms end up giving me that horizontal asymptote. The second one, the degree in the bottom in the denominator exceeds the one in the numerator. And so if you try doing the limit as x goes to infinity of that, you get y equals 0. You've got a horizontal asymptote again because the bottom degree exceeds the top degree. Um, the one that I want to really focus on here for this example is the third one where my numerator exceeds my denominator in degree by one. That's the situation where we expect to see a slant asymptote. And the way that we're going to find where that asymptote is, is by taking 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3 and dividing it by x squared plus 1 and seeing what we're left with. So I would need a 2x because 2x times x squared is 2x cubed, 2x times 1, is plus 2x. So let's subtract. The x cubes go away. I've got negative 3x squared comes down. x minus 2x is minus x, and I still have this minus 3. So what do I need here? I still need a minus 3. To say minus 3 times x squared is minus 3x squared. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. I divide, and all I have left here is this minus x, since its degree is smaller than what I had there. Um, my answer is far enough. So in other words, 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3 divided by x squared plus 1 equals 2x minus 3, and then this remainder term of x over x squared plus 1. But as x gets really, really large, this remainder piece of that uh, goes towards 0. And the asymptote that we would have is a slant asymptote at y equals 2x minus 3. So whatever the rest of this graph looks like, at, there'd be an imaginary line here at 2x minus 3 um, that the graph would eventually approach as it went far to the right and far to the left. So that's how you find your slant asymptotes. Look for the specific situation where your degree in the numerator is one higher than the degree in the denominator. Carry out the long division, and uh, you know you have yourself a slant asymptote.